Some of you are having problems creating your page links, so we will work through that again right quick. First thing you need to do is click on Design. Design is at the top menu here. That will pull up this page. If you haven't made a new blog for your page, you click under the name of your blog, and then you come down here at the bottom and click New Blog. Give yourself a title for the page, if it's your class blog, if it's your doodles, and come up with some kind of blog address for it. It doesn't matter what it is. Then create um, one of your, your views, simple is the one that I usually start with, and click create a blog. I've already done that. <clears throat> I just created a video instruction link. I want to add a page to my video instruction link. All right, so the first thing again, I'm going to go to layout. So we come up at the top, click design, go to layout right here. Then you're going to scroll down to um, cross column. I've already added the gadget, but you would click add gadget. I click edit so that you can see it. When you click add gadget, you're going to scroll down and find the pages gadget. In the pages gadget, then you're going to add an external link. And let's make a link called um, in art appreciation. So it can take me back to my art appreciation blog. Then I'm going to come down here. My art appreciation blog is right here. I'm going to click view the blog so I can get the URL. This is the URL at the top. I right click. Doesn't want to right click on me. And copy. Then I come back to I think this is where I was. Edit my gadget. Make sure you take the HTTP out because you've already put one in and right click to paste. Then it should say HTTP to whatever your blog is going to be. Save the link and then come down and save on your blog page. Save arrangement if you want and view blog. Now you can see that I've added a link back to my regular blog from my video instruction and my art appreciation. I'll need to do the same thing from that page, whatever page you're using. So again, you have to go to design, you come to layout. The layout is pages cross column. Add the gadget if the gadget isn't there. It'll say add gadget and you can go to pages. Right now I'll click edit. Under art appreciation I have the following pages. Um, student blogs, what art means, what is art, creativity, and then a link back to my home page. So I'm going to click add an external link. Video instruction is the page title I'm as adding. I'll take the HTTP out, go to video instruction. If it takes you to here, then click view blog right away. There's my video instruction URL. Right click to copy it. Come back to, let's see, which one is it? Instruction. I need to find the art appreciation one. This is where we were. Cross column pages gadget. Add external link. I've got the external link here. Right click and paste it in. And again, it was video instruction. See if it shows up down here. 
There it is. And make sure once you've saved and saved, you want to save at the bottom or it will not change anything. So you know to scroll to the bottom. I can click view the blog and there is my link back and forth. Art appreciation to video, video to art appreciation. So any page that you want to go back and forth on, you have to either go into layout and create, create a gadget and do that. Once you've got the gadget made, you can also click this toolbar, which will take you right there. The toolbar is on that link page, and you can add your external link, come down, and save again.